Can we get another chance? One mistake is all I get. How are we losing so much? We've got better personal combat. No, wait. Seriously? Oh, fuck this game. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 by committee. Your votes are in. And honestly, I feel like we're at the point of this campaign now, which I envisioned when I started it, when I came up with this idea for CK2 by committee. So, the plan for this episode is us, the uh, Greek Zoroastrian, sorry, the, the Han Zoroastrian ruler of Greece, uh, we're going to conquer Estonia for the Aztec Empire, who happens to be uh, kicking around very strong. Holy shit, did you see the portrait on that dude? He looked like a real man. Where did you go, real man? Where the, where the fuck did he go? I don't know. He's gone. Look, more to the point, we're going to swear fealty. Uh, that's what you guys suggested. That was one of the top comments. Swear fealty to the Aztecs. Um, it was also pretty much unanimous that we should keep our broken traits that we got when I installed the uh, better looking garbs mod halfway through the campaign. So we are going to remain a uh, grey eminence, Midas touched, uh, silver tongue. What else did we get from the mod breaking? I think we got shrewd. Uh, we got cruel. Or maybe we became cruel. Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we're going to grab all of those things. So some characters in the world are still going to be broken. Uh, but that's what you guys voted on. So, so good. Good. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say for that. Good. Thanks. Um, we're going to offer vassalization, or at least swear fealty, I should say, to the Aztec Empire and swallow up from the inside. Now, the question is, we have to have a... High King has a... Oh, no, no, swear fealty. They need to be a neighbor, yeah. So, we could just run over to Aragon and grab a border and then swear fealty. They might not say yes, though. That's what I'm concerned about. At which point, they would just swallow us up whole. Um, we don't have a vast valid cast spell against the Aztecs. What about against Aragon itself, though, because they're tribal? Uh, nothing. So, we might have to take Estonia first, as voted on a couple of episodes ago. And actually, they're under one Dutch now. Jesus, what happened to you, Darth Maul? Holy shit. Um, are you alright? Damn, what's wrong with her? Uh, she's got laggard resonance. She seems like... Oh, no, she's a broken character. She's got Curious at the age of 40. Okay, fair enough. Um, in that case, let's take Estonia. Don't know about a Casas Bella, excuse me? We have a claim on it, though. Um, Kingdom of... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Chief to have Nava. Chief of... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong place, you idiot. Okay, right. Yeah, so we've got these two, which we need to uh, go and press claims on at some stage. Now, we have raised troops, I'm guessing, which is why we can't declare war. Let's get that done. First things first. Why actually can't we declare war? Valley Casas Bella. Excuse me? We have a claim on the province. Chief of Nava. Declare war. No Valley Casas Bella. Chief of Caravan. Declare war. No Valley Casas Bella. Can we not push claims on provinces that we don't have... Huh. You know what? I actually don't know. Maybe it's because they're a weak claim. I have actually no idea. Okay, you know what? Fuck this then. Uh, I feel like we might need a land border with them to push weak claims. Or we need to be the du jour ruler. Or we need to have um, the duchy or kingdom level title. So what I'm going to do then instead is let's put claims on... Uh, let's put claims on these boys. Then, once we've taken that one, which is, you know, still part of modern day Estonia, we'll go ahead and take these ones instead. And we'll try and form the, is it the Kingdom of Estonia or something like that? Kingdom of Livonia. I feel like that's not Estonia, is it? Is that not also parts of uh, Latvia as well? It doesn't matter too much. Look, we'll just grab it. We'll just grab the whole thing. Because, uh, obviously, it's very conducive to the campaign, exactly what we need. So, the other thing we need to do is obviously make the Byzantine Empire, uh, which I don't think we're too far off of, are we? Or, sorry, it's going to be the Eastern Roman Empire because we aren't uh, Greek Orthodox. We need two kingdom level titles. We currently control 57 out of 80%, uh, which is 32 out of 56 titles. So, we need about roughly 40, 45 titles there um, to be able to grab that whole thing. Actually, slightly more than that. So, that's also going to need two kingdom level titles, which we've got one. We can make the other one, which would be Nikaea, I assume. Yeah. Um, so what we need to do is take out Samos, and basically we're in a position where we can do that. Now what do we have against you? We've got Holy Wars, shit. Not a fan of that, um, mainly because a lot of people nearby are going to be Hellenic, aren't they? Uh, Greek Hellenic. Yeah. Can the Romans join them in that as well? Um, Greco-Roman, no, probably not, because that would be the, sort of the difference between Orthodoxy and Christianity, wouldn't it? So, a Holy War might work. The issue is when they start getting lots of these other smaller... Yeah, because you're Roman, you're Roman. Shit, it's Romans all the way down. Romans all the way up to these boys over here, the um, Canaanites. Right, fair enough. Uh, that could be a very risky war. Now, what, what's the troop difference anyway? 2,200 versus... Versus... Uh, 1,048. Shit. It's only a Duke level title, though. I thought it was a king. So it's actually way less threatening than I thought. What we'll do then, we'll try and gather up the rest of the last little bits of Greece here. Buff ourselves up as much as possible. Can we get retinues? 3,100, that's not bad. Okay, let's save up some gold. Get married. Was that really our ambition? Who did we marry? 
Um, oh, right, that genius woman. Yeah, no, she's she's really good. And obviously, once we've done that, and as you guys suggested in the comments, once we've done that, we will uh, obviously try and have a daughter, which we can then marry, and keep the bloodline pure and fresh. This is good. My steward has bought me different books about rulership and hiccups. Okay, what do we want? Direct administrator. We want vassal administrator, which gives us plus 10 opinion with our vassals there. Actually, do we? Um, we could go for national revolt risk. We could go for domain size. Or we could go for build cost and build time. Um... What do our vassals think of us right now? Honestly, a lot of them like us. That's almost all of them like us. We've got a couple that don't, and that's probably because they are, yeah, the fresh Hellenic ones that we've got. You know what? I'm going to go for build time and build cost. Now, I wouldn't normally do that. Uh, the vassal opinion plus 10 is very, very powerful. But honestly, when we can just get rid of tribal vassals anyway at the drop of a hat because we're feudal and they're not, does it matter that they don't like us? You know, we just go to the vassals that don't like us and just revoke their titles and dish it to someone fresh. It's almost like, as long as they remain tribal, that we've got vice royalties on fucking everything. So we have free revocation on it as well, because they are... Because they're tribal, like I said. Huh. That's kind of weird. I feel like we've, we've, we may have broken the game here. So you can have Dong Ilion back. Um, what else did we revoke from that kid? He had something else as well. Go my console. Um, he had, was it this one? Upper Dong? I mean, we could just hold Upper Dong. We don't have that much provinces to ourselves anyway. Now, we've got Dongville, which is actually our only other... Um, that's our only other feudal holding. So let's try upgrade a little. And you know what? It probably wasn't a bad plan. I went for that building administrator seeing as we've got so much to upgrade to feudal there. Um, can this one not be upgraded? Stone Hill Fort. Do we need reinforced Stone Hill Fort to go? I can never fucking remember. Um, mainly because normally if you're playing in a regular game where you're not completely crushed by, you know, rebellions and stuff, generally you'd um, already have all the provinces upgraded before you flip to feudal because then they upgrade with you. These boys are blobbing out of control, so we need to put these guys in their place as well. The Wolf of Estagom. Uh, he's an Avar. We could Holy War him. Um, how far away from home are you, friend? We could Holy War him. Oh, to be fair, though, we only... Oh, we could subjugate him. Shit. Why can't we subjugate this dude is what I want to know. Um, we just can't subjugate him, but we could subjugate this dude and just revoke it all because he's tribal. That's not a bad plan. You know what? I think we're going to do that. Right, first things first, then. Um, let's set the council. Preferably with... Oh, shit. The advisor's still broken. Ah, oh, CK2. Okay, fine. Doesn't matter. Right, subjugate, ruler. Council say no. What's wrong with you? Glory hound, return the favor to chief Chen Kui of Safeway. What's up with you? Pragmatist, there are other wars that are more important for me right now. It means he's generally got a claim on somewhere. He hasn't, but he probably has something else like digital land. What the fuck are you on about? There are wars more important. He even likes us a lot as well. You might have to be sacked, Chen Kui, because the only reason you're here is probably because you are a decent spy master. Let's put my wife there instead. She's a loyalist spy master, and she's my wife. I feel like that's win-win. Um, so if you build a spy network, so you stay around the capital so that you can have many baby. Uh, that should free us up nicely, because obviously they were only returning favors to that dude. So the council will probably say yes now. Yeah, they will. Good. Okay, subjugate ruler. Boom. So we're going to take all of this, and basically everything going all the way up to um, this area of the world. I think that's part of modern-day Hungary, but I'm not entirely sure. Kiev? Might be Russia? Don't know. Anyway, let's... Uh, we're probably going to be able to trance this guy, aren't we? Now, we've got to remember, he is tribal. So, if he has enough prestige, he can just raise the armies. Oh, fuck. He's actually got a shit ton of men as well. We have almost as much. And I feel like we're probably going to have better commanders just by the virtue of me being a human being with uh, some idea of how this works. So, let's get these boys straight into his province. Gain the trait stressed rather than lowering the quality of our book. Yeah, that's not a bad plan. We're so stressed, we're going to put on a fancy hat. Right, caravan raiders. Uh, ready my horse. I'll get rid of the scoundrel. Yeah. Wait until night to sneak upon the guards. Slit the throat. Yes. Threaten him. Uh, oh, they just leave or slit his throat. 50% chance of dying. Yeah, I don't think why we would fucking do that ever. Maybe they don't always say yes to being threatened. I'm not sure. So we're leading troops. We do have 18 marshals. So actually, that's not a bad plan. Now let's go for... Um, okay, Winter Soldier is shit. Because we're not in Pagan Lands. Master Mountain Terrain is shit. Because we're not really in any particularly mountainous terrain. Cavalry? And lead, like, the, the cataphracts, or... Uh, we have newbie retinues, don't we? Which are these ones. We could also make regular cavalry. Yeah, like I said, a combination of these two is going to be very, very powerful. So we'll actually go for a cavalry leader and buff up those particular bands of retinues. Right. Um, where are all my men, though? Is this genuinely all that turned up? Oh, shit. Okay, we either gain tray, the tray arbitrary or the gain just for free. You know what? Hmm, this is a difficult choice, actually. Very difficult choice. I think I'll go with... I think I'll go with just. Thanks, game. So, because they're tribal, what we're going to do is rush their troops before they have a chance to get them all together. Because there's no way in hell we can actually stand up to them if they manage to get 
all of their vassal troops as well. Now, in theory, they shouldn't because uh, they're quite hated by all their vassals, but, you know, it's just tribal contract, so maybe it'll work. Let's kill these troops off before, again, they manage to get that big old army together. Then we'll worry about things. Look, they've already got, like, 3,000 kicking around there. There's 2,000 up here. Shit. They've already merged. Um, what if we can beat them over there, though? That's not bad. I think we can win that one. Yeah, good, good, good. No? No? What is your morale? Fine, okay, free claim. Excellent, yep, great. What the fuck was that? <sighs> good, okay. Um, yep, fuck this all then. Right, I'm surrendering. Goodbye. 118 gold down the toilet. What a waste of time. Yeah, we couldn't have won that anyway. Okay, team, um, back to square one. I guess we just wait for all our retinues to reinforce before we try anything else. Because despite the fact, this is my biggest complaint with CK2, despite the fact that it clearly says on this man that they've got 4,000 men. If you go to their round tree, it says they've got 4,500 men. All of the vassals go and raise fucking tribal armies whenever they feel like it. Oh, because they've got 500 prestige, but I raise 6,000 troops apiece. And then you lose. Um, it's probably one of the worst systems for actually representing troops this game has, the, the round tree and things like that. Um, let's go for vassal administrator. Thank you, motorbike. Let's go for vassal administrator to um, try and increase their opinion of us, so in turn we get more troops. We basically just got to sit and now wait for these boys to reinforce, which is a little bit of a pain. Do we still have a caster spell against them as well, though? Um, we cannot afford to lose the 300 prestige. Yeah, but I, I don't care about that, I'll be honest with you. Okay, um, what else could we potentially hit then? What about these boys? Croatia. Uh, we can holy war them. Again, I don't really want a holy war, seeing everyone and their mother is Greco-Roman nearby. We could try it quickly. We could go for a smash and grab. And maybe take what we can from this. Um, also, what the fuck is... Sweden? Sweden. Can you refer to a land? Uh, seems to have taken almost everything here. Shit. Okay. Uh, keep an eye on that. That's a little bit worrying. How are the Aztecs doing? Are they really doing much over there? No. They've just got 171,000 men that are just sitting around. Good. Good you see you men there. Damn it. Um, okay. Why don't we... I feel like I'm getting quickly backed into a corner here. Right. You improve relations. That's fine. Um, advisor fucking CK2+. plus. Disable that one. That's not important. Yeah, let's go for that smash and grab Holy War. I think we need to start taking bigger risks when we've got more troops rather than me just doing it because we have the Cassus Belli available to us. So let's get these boys together. Um, so we've almost... Actually, we're almost fully reinforced anyway. We might as well just leave it there. Um, let's go for these boys then. So we could declare war. Holy War for what's going to give us the most here. Samos isn't bad. Uh, Samos is going to give us three provinces. So it's going to make our borders look a little bit nicer. Plus, we can tidy up sort of the rest of Greece here. So we've got um, Crete to take out there. I think we've also got claims on Cyprus as well, don't we? Maybe we'll actually need to get a sea border with them first. Okay. Um, yeah, he's only got 2,000 men. So even if we holy war him with plenty of allies. But again, it's tribal. So we could have any bumfuck amount of troops. And there's no way to really tell very easily. Short of checking all the prestige and all of his vassals. Because the round tree isn't going to tell you shit. God damn, this game does infuriate me sometimes. Okay, team. Uh, squad up in Constantinople. Let's see how we do. Have mercy, please. I just need a little bit of expansion for once in this episode. See, they've already managed to get 4,000 troops. So let's head down through here before any more manage to turn up and uh, fuck us up a little bit. Merge them. We'll go on the center because we are one of the better commanders we've got right now. I'm not going to bother inviting anyone else to our court since they just leave in five minutes anyway. Okay, that's one province siege. Kill the troops. Not even part of the war goal in hindsight. So I just did that for the fun of it. We could assault this down. Oh, it's only 25% every 12 days. So we might as well just leave it uh, a couple of months there. Give a stern talking to this man. And that's going to improve his opinion of us. Because that's generally what happens when you give people a stern talking to. Kill these troops and take the last province as part of... Oh, it's that one. Right. Wait, that's his capital as well. Oh, shit. Okay, that's pretty good. That's that's going to be some decent war goal there then. A war score, I should say. Let's go and hit that one first before his armies get to it. So they reinforce into us. Probably the reason why that's happening is because we've got a commander somewhere with organizer. Uh, Trickster gives experimentality, cavalry leader. Shit, we've got two cavalry leaders here. Sheng, were you? Yeah, Sheng's an organizer. Nice. So that's really good for us because they're going to retreat into us and can't do anything about it. Let's assault this one down. Taken prisoner and 100% war score. Thank you. Okay, that's basically how we're going to have to do this from now on. Oh shit, that also collapsed his realm. That works for me. That's absolutely fine. Okay then. Um, I'm enjoying this tactic, so let's stay with it. Lesbos, you are next on my list. Rodos. Oh shit, this was the guy we just went to war with. Right. Lakia must be... What's happened? Right, there we go. He's lost vassal contracts. He's no longer a duke. Good. Right. Um, I should probably give all this shit away, though, first, eh? Okay. Um, oh, it's Holy War, so we're getting all the subholdings as well. That's good, because it means we'd have to do the weird um, Grant Independence thing with them. Right, let's give this one away as well. And Samos. Somebody can have the whole province of Samos for all I damn care. 
Uh, search all, reset, let's go filter one, and give it to. Now, we are supposed to be giving land to our family members, but obviously we can't right now because we have no family members. We're on our last character. So, until we manage to start churning out a bunch of kids, this is how we're basically going to have to do things, unfortunately. Let's upgrade that to reinforce stone hill. Can we make it a castle yet? No. Again, I think this might be an issue with one of the building mods. We might actually be needing to upgrade this one instead. A little bit annoying, but I suppose we're just rolling the dice, really. What's that going to convert to? Will it, will it convert to reinforce still stone hill for one upgrade to castle? Um, right. So that's basically how we know which one we need to build, I assume. Oh, wait, this one costs prestige. What? <laughs> what's happened? Okay, fuck it. Who cares? Uh, who knows what's happening with this anymore? Honestly, I've, I've no idea. Right. Um, You boys are next then, because you are going to be out of that contract. We do have digital claims, but I don't think we can enforce them, can we? Why can't we enforce that? We need uh, medium crown authority. Right. Okay, we don't have that yet. Damn. Um, how long we got to wait till we get that? Legalism level two. Um, Legalism level two. We don't have legalism. We do have legalism level 2. I can quite clearly see it there. My god, there's going to be something else in this. This is another thing they need to sort out before CK3, I'll be honest with you. Uh, this absolute mess. So yeah, we still need medium crown authority. We need to sort out... Um, it should just show you what you're missing with the... Under the right circumstances. I feel like it's a much better system to do this. I think we just need a thousand uh, prestige. Which shouldn't take too long, especially with a couple more wars there. Okay, that's good. We could increase our feudal obligations or even our tribal obligations wouldn't help out. Wouldn't work you know, hinder us too much. Um, let's go for that then. Do we need to vote on that? We do? Jesus. Um, right, of course we do. Yeah, let's vote on that as well. Jesus, what else do you guys want to do? What's the return of the damn empire while we're at it? Um, right, okay then. Let's go for my council, see who people are in voting in favour of. Now, we've got an empty seat, so we've got to bribe an extra person anyway because this mod is shit. Um, let's buy a favour from you, despite the fact that my loans are astronomic. This is going to help out in that regard in the sense that it will give us um, a little bit more tax as well. So we're calling council support on you. Thank you very much. You're going to give us three in favor, two, uh, three against an hour vote. We should be okay with that, I think. Um, tribal obligations. Undecided. We've got Chief Lu Juling is against it. We've got one supporter, three undecided. But they are loyalists. So in theory, they should vote in favor of that. Let's wait and see. Um... Okay, we've got two empty seats and obviously he has voted against it. So we're just waiting on the loyalists to actually vote as a loyalist. No, you know what? Like I said, I think we're going to keep Vasselman straight here, pal, if you don't mind. Seriously? They voted against it? Oh, okay. We're fine, though. So that's local tribal obligations. That's going to give us a little bit extra levy and a little bit extra tax, which is nice. Um, we want to move up, obviously, to Harsh as soon as possible. It's going to make them hate us, but honestly, they're tribal, so if they don't like it, they can flip over to Feudal, which would be better for us anyway. Okay, right. Let's form this empire before the end of the episode. That's, what, that's my goal now. I'm getting stubborn about it. I just want to make the empire no matter what. Okay, team. Let's squad up. What are we going to do about the Aztecs, though, if we make the empire? Um, I mean, you guys have voted on swearing fealty to the Aztecs, so I guess that's pretty much going to be my goal. Let's at least grab enough land to be able to create an empire if we can. Because um, getting swearing fealty to the Aztecs is going to be an absolute pain in the ass. So what are we going to have to do, then? Fabricate claims on... Um, let's take a look. I suppose Fabricate Clans are like... Yeah, but the Umiads are massive and much stronger than us, I assume. Oh, actually they're not. But they're, again, they're tribal and they've got a huge empire so they can call all their vassals. What if we get a claim on, like, uh, Mallorca? That could work. Because we're in a sea province as well. So I think we count as neighbours of that. So let's get, grab a claim on that. We'll swear fealty to the Aztecs. Then try and take it over from the inside. It's rare that I do things like that. So this will be a nice difference for game. And I mean, you know, if you want to watch me play the Byzantine Empire, I've got another series where I'm literally doing that. So... Um, Subjugate Ruler, Holy War, let's keep doing the Holy Wars, because the more of these we do, the easier it's going to become, because our moral authority is going to be higher, they're going to convert away, and obviously there's going to be less of them with each Holy War as well, so that's fine by me, oh shit, we just raised troops on top of other troops there, shit, um, okay, carry on, the money letters reminded me of that loan I took, you don't have to, I, I do remember, uh, extended for two years, 50 golds, uh, 50 prestige or 25 gold, I'll, I'll take the 50 prestige here, I think, thanks, alright team, let's get this together, we're getting absolutely trashed by these boys. Oh, we've already got a claim, but it's a hundred and... Shit. Okay, it's the Dutch level title, so I will take that, if you don't mind. Okay. Where are the rest of my troops? Is this all we've got right now? Oh, 100% war score. Nice. Well, that was easy. <laughs> well, that was dumb. 
Okay, uh, what else have we got? We could take Rhodes as well. Oh, no, well, hang on. This was the dude we went to war with. I recognize his face. Um, put these boys down. What about you, then? Can we declare... Oh, right. We're, in... we're bankrupt. Aztec, spread disease. Great. Now we've got great pots to deal with as well. Although they are going to be our overlords soon, so it doesn't matter too much. We could subjugate this woman and just revoke everything. Which is probably not a bad plan. 1,700 men. Um, let's let our troops reinforce a little bit. Tesco Express prospers. That's what I'd like to hear. Um, we can also also make the kingdom already. So if we get medium crown authority, we could just press to draw claims on them there. Okay. I'd like to... I'd really like to seal up these borders. This is really, really annoying. Um, what if you were to die horribly? 1,800 men. Would that also splinter him? Has he got Gavakind? He has got Gavakind and three duchy level titles. Let's splinter his realm. Fuck you. This is what you get for uh, beating me a war. <laughs> Legitimately and fairly. Okay. Kill him dead. Let's get ourselves um, the spy network being built, which we should already have in with our wife there. What's our spy network up to right now? Nothing. Good. Um, we could obviously bribe some people, but again, i kind of like to pay off these loans a little bit, if you don't mind. Although, I mean, it's probably not a bad idea, is it? Okay, hang on. Let's see the people that haven't joined. 4%. Plot power. Uh, we could get a 16% guy there for 15 gold, I think it is. So that's probably not a bad plan. There you go. You have that. What's 15 gold to us, really? It's not, it's not that much. Okay. What are we doing with China, then? Did we, do, did we actually do anything with China? No, because they are... I mean, I don't know why we... Nothing? The Emperor likes nothing, but he also dislikes nothing. A very fair and neutral man. Okay, um, a little bit annoying, because obviously we would like to kowtow or do something like that, but unfortunately we can't, because this game is, again, shit. Perform statecraft. Uh, yeah, probably not a bad plan to try and get more vassal levies. So we're up to 4,300 men right now. Out of... Oh, that's actually our maximum. Shit, what happened to all our troops? Oh, because I'm way over my domain limit, fool. All right, let's, uh, let's tidy this up. And then, I think we're fine. Um, what the fuck have we inherited to get all of this land? Okay, we got Lesbos. Oh, shit, did the person we gave all this dude die? No? Well, what's Lesbos under? Um, Naxos? Do we have a, a Duke of Naxos? We don't. Okay, that's the islands. Right. Okay, let's just give that to anyone then. Who cares? Uh, Grant Lander title. That's all my stewardship. Our highest is 12 stewardship. Damn. Okay, uh, let's boss for you. And we're good. Um, stress and frustration inside me. I know how they feel. Just shout at this random woman. That seems very medieval. Okay, so um, I think the subjugation is a bad plan. Unfortunately, she has just come under attack there. God damn it. How have you come under attack? Chief Sartak. She's winning it, though. But she has thrown away a lot of troops in the process. 1,800 versus our 6,200. Yeah, you know what? Fine. Subjugate rule up. We'll revoke her titles because, again, she's a tribal vassal. So we've got free control to do that. Let's get our boys together first. Are we leading troops? We should be because we're pretty incredible. Um, I mean, I wish this event wouldn't pop up every 30 seconds. I think it's just on a chance to change your trait rather than it being, you know, once per lifetime or once per every 10 years or something. Right. There's our troops. Let's get us on the center. Let's get Sheng. Let's get Zero. Next goal is to pay off the loans. Oh, shit. What do we want to do? Do we want to lead, um... We gain 0.25 health. I don't think that's very much. We'll try and get in the marshal. You over here, some courtiers in Tesco Express. Nice. <laughs> Just out shopping one day. You're out buying some hot dogs, can of Tesco, blue lightning. They come in cans? I think they come in bottles, don't they? Like, big two-liter bottles. Look, like, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we overheard them. And obviously, we're not best pleased by that. I like that. It gave us a chance that it's in the marshal as well. It's pretty nice. Okay, team. Um... Probably go for their capital, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, oh shit, she's only a count level time? She's got all of this land? Damn. A um, little bit knowing that obviously we are going to have to try and grab these up as quickly as possible before this other guy grabs them. Now as long as she doesn't... Oh, she did it. Well then. Oh shit, she got some free land. Incredible, thank you. Imprison anyone of importance. Let's tidy this up. Wow, that was really, really convenient then. We picked a pretty decent time for that. We can just assault these down without having to worry about it. Uh, you are not relevant, thank you. I have the money right here. 125 gold. Okay, so that's one loan paid off, which is good. Uh, it's nice that we did that before I had the opportunity to spend it, to be honest with you. Let's kill off these boys as well. 92% war score. One more province, and we should be done. Curses. Foiled again. Um, you are now high priority, because I don't care about you either. There we go. And... Oh, shit. Take out the church. Oh, that was risky. Done. Nice. Okay, so now we say to her, hey, give me all your shit. She's going to say maybe, and then she'll go into a rebellion. No. Yep, okay, she went into a rebellion, which point we just kill her in war again for the second time in five minutes, which shouldn't be too difficult, seeing as we've done it once already. The downside to this, though, is we basically have to siege everything, because there's not really anything worth any war score, which is a little bit annoying, but we should be okay. Alright, um, there's no battle war score either, because obviously we've just killed our armies once. This is 
I'm kind of a little bit annoyed that this system is in the game. I mean, just saying maybe, just to inconvenience me, is a little bit shit. Um, something that Paradox might want to take a look at. 56%. We are actually going to have to siege every fucking holding here. Are we reinforcing? No, because it's technically enemy realm, isn't it? I like this little shouting. If you've got, um, if you turn battles off of having the, um, the actual pop-up and relegate it up into the low priority tab, they, they just shout instead to let you know that you've finished your battle. It's kind of nice. Uh, 86% is she surrendering? She should be surrendering at that. We surrender to these terms. Thank you, right? Let's revoke all of this shit and give it again to better vassals. Preferably not have all of this under one powerful vassal either, wouldn't hurt. Right, revoke that. Revoke that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, what are we going to do after this? I think it's time for Estonia to fall. Um, again, I'm not sure how we're going to do it, seeing as it wouldn't let me press claims earlier. Maybe it's because we don't have that medium crown authority. I'm not sure. And we've got enough to actually try and pass that too. Probably going to say no. And again, we don't have enough gold to... Um, I don't have gold to bribe them either. What the fuck am I looking for? There it is. Uh, medium crown authority. Undecided. Everybody. Why don't we wait until we've got up a little bit more gold just so we can bribe them if we have to? And we're going to gain seven gold there from pissing off one of our vassals. Nice. Hi, chiefdom. Um, this guy's hands are actually in one of our vassals, so no, I'm not going to be usurping that, thanks. All right. Uh, troops down. Let's let some time tick. How much gold are we making per month now? 8.51 isn't bad, seeing as most of our vassals are, you know, tribal. Um, we did provoke everything then. Yep, good, good, good. Let's give this away. Uh, who have we got? Again, 12 is really, really bad, but fine. Uh, we'll give you... There's got to be a Dutch level type there, surely. Yeah, that's better. Okay, let's make that one and give that one just away in one fell swoop. That was only two two provinces. Probably not worth it in hindsight. Here you go. The Duchy of uh, that place. Sure. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. What was the large one we just got then? Um, that's obviously the King level type. Okay, Anatolia we can give away. That's fine. 13 out of 8. We can hold a lot of land for ourselves, surprisingly. Although, not so surprisingly, considering we've got Graham and it's and friggin' Midas touched. Um, there you go. You can have that one, my friend. I'm sure we've got sub holdings we could also dish out somewhere. We've got so much shit. Good God. Um, and it's all useless, because it's all tribal. Alright, so. We have a claim on one of the provinces in Estonia. Just thought we'd kill some people to cheer me up a little bit. Right, troops up. Uh, no, troops down. Hang on, I have to declare the war fight. Sorry, troops. Hang on. Uh, belay that. Oh, shit. Someone got into a fight. Brilliant. Okay, well, let's just kill off some troops for the fun of it, just to celebrate us. About to declare war. So, we have no claims on these. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's because they're weak claims. I'm not entirely sure. It's CK2. You know, it seems to change its mind every 30 seconds about what you can and cannot do. Right, raise the troops. Raise the fleets. Are they set to go to Tesco Express? They are. These are also set to Tesco Express. Now, the person... I've checked this. They've only got 54 men. 95 men. Oh, shit. The men have gone up quite significantly. But they are in the middle of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 wars. Now, I imagine we're going to turn up and all of their promises are going to be gone. And we're going to have to declare another war anyway. But we might as well give it a go. Um, we've got 60. Oh, shit. We just don't quite have enough boats. Damn it. Okay. Uh, sure. Just take these boys then. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn up, we're going to try and take this province, we're going to die to attrition and lose this war, and then we're going to have to come all the way back again, which is going to be very, very fun. I imagine they're getting wrecked by Sweden here. I imagine Sweden have, uh, oh sorry, Vilkinaland, um, are sort of trying to look to dismantle this area as well, so we could be another one on their chopping block here. We need to be a little bit careful. Oh shit, don't retreat that, don't retreat that! My god, I hate this game so much sometimes. Okay, why are we... Why are we at war with those guys? I love these these portraits. have worked so well, haven't they? Why are we at war with you, though? Have you joined as a defender? God knows how that's happened. Okay. Uh, this belongs to Oldenburg. Understandable. Why? <laughs> okay. So this is actually one of their vassals, though, isn't it? N no. Oh, this belongs to... What the fuck is happening? Are they joined as a defender? Greek claim on... Yeah, we're hostile to just about everybody. Why are we hostile to you, though? Um, oh, because they've got... They're also doing that conquest. I see. Right. Um, okay, let's not waste our time with that. Then. Let's just head for whatever the hell these people have, which is just this province, which is about to be siege. You know what? I feel like this was a bad time to close. Well, let's just go home. You know what? Let's just go home and let them sort, sort it out between themselves. Then we'll come out later on when it's a little less, uh, a little less fucky. Now, we could always go to war with Mallorca instead, seeing as we have a claim on that. That's probably not a bad plan, either. Um... You boys have 1,300 men, and how much prestige? 400. How many vassals? None. Okay. 
in theory, this should be fairly straightforward and a very easy, simple war. Let's get some loyalists on the council so we can immediately just declare this without having to worry about what the fuck our council think. Okay, declare war, claim Mallorca, boom. Right, not Estonia. Instead, we're going on holiday. In classic Greek style. Do Greeks generally go to Mallorca? Hmm. The, the, the horror, so Zoroastrian Han Chinese Greek kings go to Mallorca very often. I'm not sure that's true. Apparently, we won a battle somewhere. Well, Leech, as you well know, we are a fan of you. Thank you. Does that mean I can pay off some loan? Uh, no. <laughs> no, it does not. Shit. We need 300 gold each, don't we? 350 gold. Um, the Aztecs have bought tomatoes and maize and chocolate. Haha. Very good event there. Thank you, Paradox. That was that was worth my time. Okay, team. Um, we've got just enough boats this time. I'm a gardener. Why the fuck not? What? If, why not become a gardener? Stewardship plus two. Hey, we'll take that 31 stewardship. Damn, our, our money is going to be insane when we actually, you know, manage to build this place up into a feudal kingdom. All right. Um, Sheng, you've improved. Good work, Sheng. Uh, Renshi, welcome. And, of course, son, ourselves. Let's head over. M my wife's been dead a year and I didn't even notice. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, then. Uh, what have we got, then? Uh, reset everything. If we could just find a lady who is preferably... Please tell me I said that was a filter. I didn't. Okay. Who's unmarried within Diplo range. Let's say that's filter two. Uh, let's find somebody who is preferably uh, brilliant for that potential inheritance of the trait there. Jesus, there are so many fucked up pictures on this. What is that one? What is happening there? What is going on? <laughs> okay, that's a demon. Um, right, uh, we need someone relatively around our age, preferably. 31, she's not bad. She's lustful as well, and she wants to come to our court. Nice, she wins. Have we got anyone else at all? Anyone we can invite, maybe make some concubines out of them? Doesn't matter too much. We'll just take her. She's fine. Unworthy priest. And that's a picture of the Tengri religion, of course. Uh, range marriage, her to uh, son. There we go. Okay, we've got ourselves another Zoroastrian. Plus, she's minus touch, which is going to increase fertility, or at least it fucking does sometimes. Again, it's EK2. It changes his mind every five minutes. Then we've also got Lustful, which definitely increases fertility. So we might be able to get a son out of her. Unfortunately, as we're leading troops, uh, CK2 Plus adds the Away From Court modifier. Giving us minus 100%, so we should probably stop fighting so many wars, eh? Right, I'm going to boat bomb into that, despite the fact it's probably not the best plan. Um, let's just take this, and we should be good, I think. Prisoner, we're done. Holy shit, we've got Malorca. Nice, uh, dot the troops, burn her. Uh, Promethean heresy, that sounds not good at all. Okay, put these boys down. Oh, Aztecs, would you like, my friends, off of vassalization, uh... No, it's my fealty. Uh, we must be at peace, and they must be a neighbor. We're still not a fucking neighbor. What the hell did I take Malorca for, then? Why did I take it? Give me give me these. Revoke these. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? The council... What do you mean the council vote? No. Okay, so he is returning a favor to this fella, so he can be sacked from the council, is what you're telling me. Uh, you can get out. There we go. Okay, let's try again. Um, revoke title. Thank you. Okay, maybe... No, there's no maybe about it. Am I going to have to take these boats all the way back over again? Don't do it. Come on. Don't do it. Oh, you piss demon. You know what? We'll leave that there for today. Because apparently this episode is massively overran. Uh, you know what? We tried. I've tried. Okay, I tried to attack and take Estonia. I tried to swear fealty to the Aztecs. This game. This game drives me mad sometimes. Thank you for watching. Shout out to the top tier, ridiculous tier patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Halting, Hey Dog, Krosis, Gabriel Vendors, Josh Lundin, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Spider T, James Ogilvy, Escape, and Jackson Woodman for their support. Who? And of course, shout out to the more sensible patron tiers, including the following Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Matoniak, Necro Philan, Felix Dill, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noble Esquit, Larchley, Zarevan, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Sheep Palti, Nine the Lizard King, Luan and Thomas, Yoran DeVries, Euphrates, Duncan, Two Seven, George Campbell, Asara, and Sidini. Thank you for your support. Man, these episodes have gone weird. These have gone, these have gone even weirder. Look at this world.